Today, in this short yet exciting and compelling video, I am going to explain to you what spurious RF emissions are. I will not be using any big words and I will not be trying to impress you like so many other YouTubers would do. I'm going to explain it to you in simple, easy to understand terms that everyone can understand. If you have ever read comments online about the Baofeng UV5R radio or other cheap Chinese junk radios, you have no doubt seen 10 paragraph long comments posted by some people that one of the biggest dangers of the UV5R, and yes, they do use words like danger, one of the biggest dangers about using the UV5R or other cheap Chinese radios is the infamous spurious RF emissions. And this is because according to those radio Karens, the spurious RF emissions from this type of inexpensive radio will cause police and fire personnel to not be able to hear their dispatchers. They will cause hospital equipment to fail and they will interfere with air traffic control equipment rendering airplanes unsafe to fly. And yes, those are all things said by experts online. And how do we know that they're experts? We know that they're experts because in virtually every one of those comments or postings that those experts left online, they started the comments by declaring, declaring that they have been a ham radio operator for 10, 20, 30 or more years. So we dare not question anything that they say. So what are these spurious RF emissions squirting out of little radios like the Bufwang UV5R, a spurious RF emission, or a birdie, as some of the experts call them, is any bit of the signal that's being transmitted or coming out of the radio that is outside of the intended frequency that you're transmitting on. So for example, if the radio is supposed to be transmitting on 462.575 megahertz, any other signal no matter how small or how weak, coming out of that radio at a different frequency, even if it's just little spurts and spurs of static or noise, those are considered spurious RF emissions. Older UV5R radios, when they first came out, like 10 years ago, did have much spurious RF emissions, and this made some people very sad. I just happen to have one of those older Bufwang UV5Rs. This one is about eight years old. This is the first Bufwang UV5R that I ever owned. And as you can see, when you key it up, now, if you are running a television station outputting thousands of watts and covering thousands of square miles, if your equipment has spurious RF emissions, understandably, this could be a big problem. If you're a ham radio operator outputting hundreds of watts with a big antenna on your roof, or even if you are a GMRS operator with an antenna on your roof and outputting only 50 watts, if that equipment outputs spurious RF emissions, that could also be a problem. Problems like static on your neighbor's television set or even static or noise on your local police and fire radios. If those spurious RF emissions happen to be coming out at the same frequency that your police and fire radios are listening on. But on a small handheld four or five watt Bufwang UV5R type radio, the very same radio that all of those experts told us can't even transmit for more than half a mile or a mile. Now they're telling us that the low power spurious RF emissions coming out of this will make an airplane fall from the sky. In a small, lovable radio like the Bufwang UV5R, it seems unlikely that a tiny low power spur or spurious RF emission would actually be capable of causing a real problem, you know, in the real world. It seems, from what I have observed, and I could be wrong, but it seems that some people obsess unhealthily about having a pure radio and any radio that is dirty by having any spurious RF output is evil. But most normal people don't care about any of that. Most normal people only care about when they push this button, 
Can their friend over there hear them? And can they hear their friend when their friend does the same thing and pushes the radio to talk back to them? Most normal people are not concerned about spurious RF emissions. But now allow me to address the specific dangers of the spurious RF emissions, the spurious RF output that all of those experts have warned us about. I could not find any documented or verifiable reports of spurious RF emissions coming from a low power radio like the UV5R ever causing problems for anyone or anything anywhere ever. But I did not read the entire internet, so I am going to leave the comments section open so that all of the experts can leave their horror stories about spurious RF emissions.